It's really important to back up your computer just in case you lose your photos or your documents or say your, even your business accounts. Here's how you do it. You go to Cobian Soft, C-O-B-I-A-N, cobiansoft.com, click on the downloads page and you come and you download Gravity version 11, Cobian Backup Gravity. When it's installed, you'll find it in your taskbar down here looks like this show you how to use it two sides a left side and a right side on the left side you right click and you come to new task then in here you describe it example weekly backup leave it on full and don't change any of the tick boxes coming down to the second word here files at the bottom you click add directory and on the left you find your external hard drive or what you're backing up to. At the top you click add. This is where you put the things that you want to back up. I'm going to back up today the desktop. I'm click add again. And then I'm going to come down I'm going to say I want to back up the documents. And I want to come one more time into here and say I want to back up the pictures. Don't want to lose the baby photos, right? And then coming down to the third word called schedule. And here you can choose daily, weekly, monthly or on startup. Quite clever. Let's go daily, Wednesday, 2 in the afternoon. Moving on, the fourth word down. Dynamics. Real interesting. See how I've got a number four in there? That means it'll do four full backups when it makes the fifth or the sixth or the seventh backup. Instead of overflowing, it'll just delete the oldest backups till there's only four on the hard drive. Works good. Uh, coming down to the fifth item on the left, it's called archive. This is where you choose the compression level. I like the middle one. Zip. Okay, and then you click OK. And all of a sudden, on the left, you've got a, a schedule to do a backup once a week. You can do weekly, monthly, so on and so forth. For today's illustration, we've got passport photos. Watch this. If I double click and we have a look at it, I just asked it to go and get one folder called passport out of my, my documents and put it on the F drive, right? We could run this and test it by clicking the blue triangle like this. Click OK and it'll go through and it'll do a backup. Very little backup because there's only like six photos in there. You can see on the right side it says what it's doing and it's going through and backing up right for the shortness of this video let's go and have a look on the external hard drive look over here external hard drive see here this backup of the photos and we can it's zipped up we can double click to unzip it and sure enough there's all the photos of the of the um, uh, easy way to show you would be to go like this all the photos of the uh, of the passport photos. All right, so um, hope that helps you. Works really good. You can leave an external computer plugged into your business computer on the left, uh, and you could have it backing up every day. You can have two hard drives. You can say every odd day of the week I'm going to use this hard drive, and every even day of the week I'm going to use that hard drive. So you just know that at the end of your business day, all your accounts are backed up. If you're a home user, you can uh, back up all your photos, all your music. Just a really cool piece of software. Well, my name's Rex. I run the computer company in Inglewood called Rex Short Computer Services. And if you need help with backup or any computer repairs, you can contact me on the names below, on the numbers below. All right, have a good day.